In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I did a quick audio install, simple audio install on this 2016 EZO TXT. Just a set of six and a half inch speakers and a head unit, which the person supplied. I'm doing this for a friend of mine's father, grandfather, I meant. So I'll walk you guys through all the steps I took and what kind of products I used to get there. Okay, so up here, what you'll see is I used a piece of PVC plastic. It's got the texture. It's a little bit shinier than the factory, but I used that. I used stainless steel hardware, put a bracket on the backside to attach it to the factory trim. The person who owns this golf cart likes the push-pull switch on here for the headlights. They asked if I could use the same kind of switch for the radio. So I did, you just pull it, it comes on. It's basically the exact same switch. I just took some scotch bright pad and rubbed all the paint off so it doesn't show a headlight. This stereo is used. It was used whenever I got it. It's a Boss Audio MR1305WUA, which is a marine audio grade speaker, or I'm sorry, head unit and speakers for that matter. But that's what I did up here. I just drilled a hole through. I ran a solid seven conductor 14 wire to keep everything nice and tidy underneath the cart, which I'll show you that in a minute. And an antenna up through there. Everything zip tied back behind, connected securely. So I'll show you the antenna. But for the antenna, I purchased this on Amazon. I bent it right here just to keep it close to the contour. Kind of makes a diamond pattern but just to keep it up out of the way so nobody bumps into it. This gentleman is an older gentleman and he wants to just listen to the local radio stations. He doesn't stream, none of that. So we put an antenna in, drilled a hole here and actually put a plug. The plug is cut with a Dremel just to get the wire through. There are the speakers. Again, they're just some six and a half inch, uh, marine grade boss audio speakers for this portion i'm gonna have to do a handheld so it's probably going to be moving around a little bit on you but you can see i tucked the seven conductor 14 gauge wire in this channel all the way up and then inside the dash here's the antenna wire This is on the this is on the bottom of the cart, it comes out of the channel, and I just ran it through these factory holes up into the engine compartment. Okay, this is inside the engine bay. You can see there's the hole I ran the solid cable through. Then you just splice off the plastic sheeting, ran my speaker wires, just kind of zip tied the wires over, did the same for this speaker, ran them through, tied the ground in, and the hots are tied into a fuse. And that's all there is to it. It's really pretty simple to operate. Sounds okay. If you found any uh, interest in this video or useful advice or anything otherwise if you could give me a like subscribe i would appreciate it have a good one